Hi and welcome to part 2 Advanced Debugger with Ironspeed and Visual Studio. My name is Tim Titchmarsh, MVP based in uh, the UK. In the last video I showed you some basics and getting started with Visual Studio and debugging. Uh, in this short video we're going to show you some more advanced features stepping through code, media and watch window and some SQL profiling. We've set up a basic project that we're going to use and we're going to try some filtering and see how affecting the where clause query can be uh, debugged and checked. So I have an override for my create where clause and uh, what we're going to do is try and filter as I say information that appears in the list based on who I am whether I'm an administrator or just a basic uh, user. So I can load up the, uh, the demo program and uh, show you what we've got on screen at the moment. I'm just going to type in with my credentials uh, just to show you that we've got some uh, role-based security in place and of course we've set a breakpoint here in the first line of the where clause so we're going to step through and just see what happens and what's set up so I'm going to look at what the current user is because I need to know who's logged in and what their permissions are and whether they're administrator so I've just dragged and dropped those variables into the watch window uh, they're not set to anything yet because we haven't actually stepped through that in code. But as I step through you can see the watch window update with the values and you can see they go red to show you very quickly that a change has been made. I can also look at the immediate window and uh, effectively print out the value of current user in this instance and it comes back and tells me the answer is 1 which uh, is what we expect. So here's my where clause I'm creating. Essentially I'm saying uh, where the current user uh, is 1 uh, and then bring back that information. So I can see the where clause that it's going to use and whether or not the information uh, tells me that the user is an administrator. So there's my where clause and if the administrator is 0, OK, there is no admin, then just keep going and don't add anywhere further where clause. So what I'll find is that um, because I'm an administrator, when I run the application, I can see all users in my uh, window, as you can see here. What I really want to do, though, is to um, use the debugger to go in and change some values on the fly so that then I can see what's going on uh, in real time. So again, come into our code, we hit the breakpoint, and we step through. Uh, again, we can see the values uh, as they appear in the watch window. And this time uh, the is admin is, is set and I can step through and see what's going on there. But essentially what I want to do is override the true value with some value I'm going to type in at the keyboard. And as we can see is admin flag is set to 1. Uh, what I really want to do now is override that and put a 0 in there so that we know for sure that um, we're not an administrator and we need to apply some further filtering. So here we go, we're going to step into that bit of code. So what I'm doing now is just tying down to a specific user, i.e. myself, so I should only be able to see myself. And there we go, there's just me now, uh, filtered in the list, uh, because I wasn't uh, an administrator. So being able to sort of break into the where clause and see what's going on is great. Um, what you can do uh, as well, and we're going to cover that in a second, is go into the SQL profiler and actually see what uh, SQL gets produced that then IronSpeed will run. This is useful when you make a mistake. For example, I made a typing error there. Uh, and maybe I've got a complex where clause and I'm not really sure what's happening and why data isn't being returned. So I can log in again. And this time, because I've misspelt something in my where clause, I'm going to get an error. Okay, And we're just going to use that to sort of prove the point that we can go into the profiler and see what's going on and how we might then use that information. So as you can see I've got the where clause down below. We can now run that and as we expect we get an exception because the where clause is uh, incorrectly formed. Into SQL Profiler I can load up information and just get it to watch all the SQL between my program and the SQL Server box. I can then copy that actual SQL code that's being generated onto the clipboard. I can then go into my uh, SQL Manager, paste it in and then try and run that as a query. 
and what the um, SQL will do is tell me where the error is okay um, or if it was a more complex query it may be able to break it down and show me uh, where, where, where my fault lies so because it raised an exception the code in Ironspeed has been caught and I can see the actual true meaning of the message by uh, hovering over the message string uh, and in this instance it's telling me there's a missing quotation mark if I let that run on um, past the um, the code there it will raise uh, a register an event which then appears on the UI when you uh, return back to the the web browser as we'll see in a second okay so we're back in the web browser and as you can see it's come up with an error message uh, for the user just telling you what's gone wrong there of course some of those may not make sense make your own error messages you see fit Anyway, that's enough for today's video. Thanks for watching. Keep an eye on this space for more videos in the future and uh, look forward to seeing you soon. Many thanks.